Hi, I'm, uh, my name's Aaron Powner and I'm a design technology teacher living and working in Melbourne, Australia. It's quite, quite interesting actually. So um, I'm a tr traditionally trained motor mechanic and uh, I was pretty much the epitome of high school failure and uh, got out of high school when I was uh, 15 and went into the trade as a motor mechanic. Um, from there I, w I went into, uh, left there and decided to do engineering and then thought there's more to life than this and uh, went back to university and became a school teacher. Yeah, okay, so pro probably the best project that I made recently, um, I went to Las Vegas with Autodesk University and I sat in a full day workshop with these guys from Autodesk and we made this grouse looking little speaker. Um, now it was CNC machine on a five axis, uh, I think it was called a pocket NC, five axis router, uh, a little CNC machine with a horizontal spindle. Uh, the grill was laser cut. The assembly in the back here was 3D printed so it used an array of CNC processes. The little knob was actually machined in Vegas uh, at, at the event on a Haas CNC lathe, similar to the one here behind me. Uh, and the Haas lathe had a Y axis, so it was able to get it as well. Now the circuit board was even made there uh, using Autodesk Eagle and uh, it was s uh, soldered in class and baked in an oven. Okay, so my favourite tool and piece of equipment I would have to say is the computer and CNC machine. Um, if you'd asked me this question 20 years ago, I would have said a, a manual lathe and a manual milling machine. So uh, I'm your typical uh, digital immigrant uh, that's uh, swapped over and you know, left the old ways behind. Uh, favourite project I've made, well I've, I've made quite a few of them, it's hard to say that uh, which project is my favourite one. Um, uh, pro pro probably I, probably the, my main achievement I made, I made a RC helicopter and where I shoehorned a Honda four stroke motor inside an existing platform and it hadn't been done before and uh, it got quite a lot of views on YouTube as well. For, for me, uh, especially as an educator, is, is to really stay on top of the modern technology. And as you know, there's huge disruption coming. Uh, disruption is that uh, a, a lot of my students, uh, you know, they'll, they'll have probably five career changes in their time. So it's how's the best way I'm going to upskill them to maintain uh, that you know, they're employable and they've got the skill set, and especially those soft skills as well, that uh, will take them through their journey in life. I don't know everything. Um, as a school teacher, it'd be wrong to me to say that I know everything because I don't. Uh, I like to joke that I'm a jack of all trades and master of none. Um, pro probably the skill I want to work on now is a bit more moving from 2D machining to 3D machining. And when I was in Las Vegas last year at Autodesk University, um, those guys really took me to school. And uh, there's an old saying in teaching you don't know what you don't know. And it's not, you know, you think you know everything until you go and meet someone who knows more than you. And that's when you learn.